So do you actually want to become the five people that you spend the most time with? And you might say, well, maybe not, but it doesn't matter because, you know, I am my own person. And we love to believe that we're our own person, that we're not influenced by society or by the people around us. But that can be furthest from the truth. We are social beings. That means that everything that we do, what we say, how we act, we look at those around us and it helps us define how we should behave and how we should think about situations. In fact, there's been studies on Facebook, for example, and social media that show that the people that we have around us, for example, if they start drinking more, that we actually increase our drinking consumption. If they start eating out more, we start eating out more. If they start behaving a specific way, because we look at that and we say, well, if they're doing it, that's how life is supposed to be. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. So we follow that. It is part of our human nature. And so, as you can see with that example, it's not just the five people that you spend the time with the most that are going to influence how you behave and the choices you make. And also, you know, your opinions about life and what you believe is possible. But it's also all of the people that you expose yourself to, even if it's just people who are friends on Facebook, they don't even know that well. The truth is that whatever you're exposed to is going to influence the way that you think feel and act and especially those five people that you spend the most time with and a lot of people might say you know but i spent a lot of time with my family does that really count and of course it does um but it also might be more than five people so if the people you're you know if you live in a house with five people it's not only those people that are the ones that influence you it's also the people who are the closest friends and it could even be if you have a specific author you read all the time and you're constantly listening to them talk that person could be one of your five people because you're spending so much of your mental space engaging with that person's perspective of life and it's not only it's the view that they have of what reality is that helps us define our own. And there's another aspect of it at an emotional level. For example, have you been around someone that's just so happy and go lucky and it's kind of contagious? You walk away you, and you feel excited about life just because you spend 10 minutes with them. Or you might have other people in your life that, you know, you spend five or 10 minutes and you're like, oh, what a downer, what a bummer, you know, and then wow, you wow, feel wow. kind of depressed. Well, what happens is that we have mirror neurons and these neurons, because we are social creature, are there to mirror our environment, to mirror other people. So if we're around people that are positive, then those mirror neurons automatically try to push us to be more positive and model the same behaviors, thoughts, and emotions because it's part of our survival mechanism of being able to fit in, to conform to our society. And so the point we're trying to make here is not to poo-poo on the people in your life. It's to have you reflect on what are the type of people that you want to have in your life. If you had to pick five people you wanted to spend your time with that would help you become more like them, who would you choose? And the reason why this is important is because the people that you spend your time with either in person or just in their mental emotional space, it's going to impact the opportunities that you expect to find in your environment. It's going to impact what inspires you, what things you choose to do with your time, how you t tend to interpret situations, your attitude about life, and most importantly, your expectations about life. So it really does matter who you are spending your time with. So one of the things that you could do is, okay, like now I said, you know, you can pick those five people and say, what are some things, characteristics, or you can even define what those people will look like that would help you grow and would help you develop and become that person that you want to become. And then really kind of assess that and look at it. And then after, if you're writing about the five people around you and how they influence in your life, you can burn it afterwards and tear it up because if you, you don't want them to find it, obviously, if you put something that's not fully positive, but it's not saying that you need to cut people out of your life. It's recognizing that sometimes we have people that bring us down people that drag us because misery loves company. So sometimes we need to set boundaries in our lives. Sometimes we need to define like, where can I find more people that are going to really fulfill my need and fulfill of who I want around me. And so really that is your assignment is reflect on the impact that people have on your life that are currently in your life. And which ones of those people do you want to spend more time with? Which ones are the ones that are the ones that you want to be more like, that you like having their influence? And which people do you need to find a way to minimize the impact that they have on you? And at the same time, again, look at 
who would you want to be around, even if it's not a specific person, it could just be certain characteristics. And then how can you go out there and put yourself in situations where you're around the type of people that you want to be more like? And for example, we go to conferences, we're part of like groups, you can find them in meetup groups, we're part of uh, social groups like online on Facebook, in different places that we find people that inspire us, that make us like really look at life differently, that make us work a little bit harder sometimes or reach a little bit further so we can like get out of our comfort zone, you know. So those are the people that we want to be around. So ask yourself, where are the people that I want to be around? Because there's always a place. That's the beauty about uh, technology nowadays, that if you don't find people in your community through either meetup groups, through social events and things like that, through going to workshops and conferences, you can meet them online. And you can surround yourself with those people that are going to push you to the next level. And one of our favorite ways to put ourselves around the people that we want to become is through media. So doing things like listening to a podcast like you're doing right now, and we do this all the time. We watch people's YouTube channels. We listen to their podcasts. We get their audio books and we listen to them while we're driving in the car and we read their books and we just let their thoughts enter our mind. And even though we might not know them personally, they still become one of the greatest influencers in our lives. And they're influencing us in a positive way in the way that we want, unlike just taking the default of whoever happens to be closest to you physically in person. And never forget that you always have the option to create the life that you want and that you're unstoppable. So choose who you're around because they're gonna influence you one way or another. Thank you. Thank you fellow Freedom Junkies for listening. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanna help us grow, please rate and share this podcast. You can also become a member of Freedom Nation. Visit freedomorbustpodcast.com and sign up to receive access to exclusive content and take the 21-Day Happiness Challenge. As you know, we believe that entrepreneurship is the ultimate form of empowerment, which is why we created the Side Hustle Business Startup Course for anyone looking to create their own income and take back their power. We offer an exclusive discount for our podcast listeners. Find out more at freedomorbustpodcast.com. Dot com.